Lance Wargo escaped the fire with his children. Intense heat kept him from rescuing his wife, Wendy, asleep downstairs in the den. Wargo told firefighters that his wife regularly used the den for smoking and had fallen asleep there the night before. Because the victim was a smoker, investigators had to consider that the fire was started by a dropped cigarette. Wendy, a 29-year-old Plymouth native, had been married to Lance, a chemical engineer, for nine years. Did you get a call? Her friends and co-workers described her as a devoted mother and a warm, giving person. Yes, sir. All right. How's my boy? You tickless today? Go told investigators that a smoke detector had awakened him. Sweetie, he rescued sweetie, his on. two children from their beds and escaped the burning home but he couldn't get to Wendy. He was lauded for his brave rescue William. attempt. And yet one odd detail overshadowed his heroics. Yeah, I'd fallen asleep while I was watching TV and I got... When they wondered, and he found the time to button his shirt and tie his shoes. I went back for her, but I couldn't normally sleep with the shoes on. I fell asleep in two minutes. Lance's spit and polish image was beginning to smudge. Police looked a little more closely into Wendy Wargo's domestic life. I've had a hard day, Wendy. They learned that she had served her husband with divorce papers just 18 days before her death. Lance was overheard saying that he would rather murder his wife than give up his kids. He was now the prime suspect, but police had no tangible evidence. To find out if his imminent divorce was worth killing over, investigators obtained a search warrant and went to the motel where Wargo was staying with his children. They collected the clothing that he had been wearing on the night of the fire. Are these the jeans you were wearing that night? Yes. Finding a trace of blood or some accelerant residue was investigators' only chance of tying the suspect to the crime. Lance. Lance Wargo was arrested and charged with murder, first-degree arson, two counts of risk of injury to a minor, and tampering with physical evidence. He was held on one million dollars bail. Detectives learned that just days before the fire, Wargo had participated in a fire safety course for work. It appeared that he had applied this knowledge, along with his expertise in chemistry, to plan and execute a murder cover-up. The battle between the Wargos culminated in Lance putting his carefully formulated plan into action. First, he suffocated his wife. Then he set the fire to conceal the murder. As suggested in his notebook, he would drop hints that cigarettes had caused the fire. believe I believe is a spite revenge fire mo the bereaved husband was found guilty of six charges in connection with Wendy Wargo's death he was sentenced to 50 years in prison